Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part three of making the bat board, which is a board Batman would have if he had a skateboard. This is radio controlled so it can drive on its own because that's what Batman would have. It's got electric steering and last time I took it for a little test drive, although I'd kind of bodged the steering so it wasn't really proportional and we're going to fix that today. We're also going to put on the cosmetics today, which I briefly showed you last time, which I've drawn in CAD, and those need 3D printing and attaching all over the board. Future plans for the board, since it has electric steering, are to make autonomous features, because that's what Batman would have, and also to make it laser guided, so it will follow a laser dot on the floor in front of me. So last time I bodged the steering a bit just to test the mechanics, and all I'd done is basically turn this knob into a speed controller for this motor, which operates this chain and operates the steering. And that meant basically as I turned the wheel, if I turned it right, the steering would turn right, but it would stay there, and that wasn't very good. So now what I've done is added this, which is a feedback potentiometer. There's a pot with three wires behind this pulley, and that is attached to the same pulley with its own little drive string. So now the steering is properly proportional as I move that knob. The steering moves, and if I let go, it goes back to the centre again. So now it should be much easier to work out which way to lean as I'm steering, and much easier to drive. But let's have a closer look at those cosmetics. So we've got various parts which are going to be 3D printed and stuck all over the chassis there to make it look a bit like the Batman tumbler. On the back I've got a sheet which is probably going to be plywood and that's going to hold a kind of rocket looking thing, the suspension springs. And at the back we've got some fins and things and those currently don't have any way of fixing them on. I have got this kind of support piece in the middle here. Uh, so we're going to have to make an assembly once we've printed all those and we can kind of see what it looks like. Obviously all of that has to fit around the motors and electronics in the back so we'll need to kind of place that, put the pieces on and make some decisions from there. And I got this Batman t-shirt as well, so I've got cosmetics for me. Right, let's stick some of the pieces on. So the back panel's going to be made of this bit of plywood, and I'm going to glue on the features, and then we're probably going to screw them on for the back just to make sure they don't get knocked off as I ride along. So this fits on the back here, and then this piece braces it to the chassis, so that screws on the bottom and it gets glued on there. Right, it's time to add some of these cosmetic pieces on here now. So I've already stuck on some panels here, which are 3D prints. I've stuck those on with 20 kilogram holding force red tape and that gives me something plastic to glue the cosmetics to. Some of that steel is slightly recessed by the wood and that's why I've put in a 2mm shim there and that means I can now reliably stick the panels on. Some of these already have bits cut out which can glue onto the wood and then I'll screw through from the top of the deck. And these pieces have a special block I've made that's going to be glued on. We'll glue the piece on and then again we can screw through from the top of the deck. So I'm pretty happy with the look of that so far. We've still got to attach this nose piece and we still need to attach the wing looking things at the back. So I designed various brackets to hold those wings and then printed them out. And here they are. So this one fits on here and we've got two little ones that fit either side here. So those are all fitted on. I've also got these pieces here which are glued between this one and the wing. 
I've added some little struts, which are side details here, the bat logo made out of skateboard grip tape, and I found a little projector on eBay that projects bats on the ground. Right, it's definitely time to give it a test outside. Right, so that was pretty successful. It's actually pretty hard to ride and it takes quite a lot of practice to remember to lean as you steer. And that's why I was mostly going in circles because once I'd leant there and I was holding the steering, it was much easier to stay on. Probably what I want actually is some handlebars to hold on to to help me, or even one handle to the back. But then obviously I've only got one hand to drive really. So next time I'm gonna make it laser guided so I don't need two hands on the controller. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this project and all the other projects. And also it's really important to say that most of my main build videos are funded through Patreon. So have a look at patreon.com slash xrobot where you can become an xrobot superfan and help fund my projects and get some exclusive rewards including a live broadcast with me and all my videos early. Alright that's all for now.